Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right. So uh, let's see what the queries uh, Sun, Moon as well, and as well Rising are going to experience through the upcoming week. Uh, the first thing that we're going to have a look at is going to be your love and relationship life, guys. So let me, uh, let me shuffle and uh, let's have a look. So first one in terms of love and relationship for you is going to be the Eight of Cups, uh, followed by uh, the Sun card. Now moving next, uh, we do have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, that's quite interesting. And the last one here, uh, that is to be the Hermit. Um, huh. So, um, well, I don't know how to say it. So it's, it's like whatever your concerns are uh, and whatever you worry about, in terms of your love life, okay, be that uh, are you gonna find ever love again, or be that you know some so, something with your partner or or with your beloved one or with your person of interest. As the week progresses, the more you are going to realize, for one or another reason, that it is you are worrying for a trifle, and it is just that the the time is like that right now, and things are going to improve as the time passes. So pretty much this week, you are to receive a, uh, I don't know how to express it, maybe divine divine confirmation, celestial confirmation, universal confirmation, whatever, that uh, much brighter perspective are awaiting you moving forward into the future. Now, those brighter perspective doesn't necessarily have to be with your current situation, meaning that those brighter perspectives could be with somebody else, okay, that you are not with right now. I'm just saying, because we are reading in general, okay. Uh, and it will depend on how you're going to look at your situation. Now, we do have the Sun card into the second position, and that is not a great card to have. There, okay. Usually it does speaks, especially when we're talking about relationships, it does speaks for ego and it does speaks as well for, um, how can I say, a um, being selfish in terms of happiness. Okay, maybe you're not realizing it because I can say that I don't realize it when I am trying to be in a relationship with someone that you are kind of pretty much attending to your own personal happiness, or if that's not the case, then it's the ego case. 
these are to be the negative energies that are revolving around you. And while you may think, you, you may know that you are not right with your statement and with your position when it comes to your person of interest or your partner, just because your ego is speaking or just because, you know, admitting that you are wrong is going to make you feel a bit miserable or guilty or this or that, you may pretty much kind of swallow it down and do not admit that you, you're not right. As simple as that. So it's kind of like the sun here feeds a an arguments uh, or clashes, fights that are completely, completely unnecessary. Or the card points that you it will be difficult for you to throw down the hatchet of your, uh, oh my God, the hatchet of war. Okay, you're going to have difficulty to do it so for one or another reason. But regardless of that, uh, the week itself, once again, is going to lead you to a much brighter perspective, be that in your current relationship or be that with a new one. Regardless of how this is going to play out, depending on your actions and on your decisions throughout the week, the luck is on your side, as we can see here with uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And whichever variant of that interpretation happens to you is going to offer you within an opportunity for a once in a lifetime change, either within your current relationship or a finding the uh, the niche or the string for new love to take place uh, to take place in your life to a point where by the end of the week you pretty much will be chosen uh, you you will be chosen on your path. What I mean is that you will choose your path and you are gonna stick to it until pretty much until you can, or pretty much until, for example, death do, do you apart, okay? It's, it's that serious, because the hermit sitting at the end in this particular follow-up, it is where you already, at the end of the week, you will know what is that light that shines for you in the darkness, or what is the light at the end of the tunnel for you, you will know what direction you gotta, you gotta take in order to reach the light at the end of the tunnel for you. And uh, you can't have it better if you are single, which speaks for a new suitor that comes about or a new person of interest that comes about that actually is your light at the end of the tunnel. But if uh, that's about the new suitor, it's going to take a long time to get this one sorted out because the Hermit is a slowly developing card. And another thing that you need to know in case we're talking about a new love interest, it is that you are to be surprised to find that quite of a few people that you have as your faithful companions are going to be against it, okay? So you got to be willing as well to pretty much let go of certain people from your surroundings if you do want that thing uh, to happen. So uh, just let me gain control of my camera, guys. So that was about your relationship. Now moving next, we do have uh, your career. The first one for your career, uh, Aquarius, is going to be the star card, which is the Aquarius card in Tarot, followed by uh, the uh, Page of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the full card, and at the end, uh, that is to be the Wheel of Fortune. Well, definitely, we're talking about a new beginning here, um, sort of. Uh, so it does depend what you do understand under a new beginning because there is a, a bright new brand new beginning which means a new job that has nothing to do with your old job or with the things you did there that is not going to be your new beginning your new beginning it is a, a new beginning within within the existing frameworks of your life which means that if that is about new job is going to be a, a job that you are very experienced in all right uh, if it is about a new project, it will be a project that also it is, um, how can I say, a um, adequate to your qualification. And um, 
having the star card at the end, it do, uh, at the start, I'm sorry, it does point that this, uh, this new beginning, it's all about a, a long-term unfoldment. Now, if we do have it for a, um, for a relationship, for, exa for example, that would have been an unfolding love, so you had to give it a time. Here, it does refer to the ideals and to the standards of one person, so in order to have your ideals and standards met from the new project or the new job, you know, or the new position, for example, because that could refer to a, a promotion as well, you got to take it a bit of time because that thing, I mean, the, the culmination, the fulfillment of your dreams in terms of career lingers somewhere in the future, not within this week. In this week, it is like you are making the very first baby steps to get yourself there. But the good thing is that you will be able to kind of like raise yourself above the situation itself and being able to survey everything like from an ego uh, from an ego view all right and that will bring you some comfort some ease of mind seeing that actually reaching the goal the end of the destination the culmination of your dreams it's quite possible okay but we do have a problem and the problem resides within the correlation of the uh, page of pentacles into the second position and the full card into the third position and as much as it is a problem, just as much as it is a, a, a virtue, right? And that speaks for the lack of preparation. So while you are to be competent uh, into the uh, ongoing, how can I say, enterprise that is to be brought to you, you may not find yourself very prepared in a sense of, you know, for example, having your means ready, uh, having your schedule cleared, you know, having your time management accordingly and etc. etc. So the week itself, it could be dappled with rather like a, a hectic, hectic performance, you know, or hectic wavering, if you will. Uh, you may find yourself scampering around trying to fit the, uh, to fit the things around and to work the things around as well uh, and uh, all in all you may find yourself in rather quite chaotic and um, uh, and how can I say upheaval environment that is to be quite creative though so this chaos and upheaval is not going to be something detrimental to your career just on the contrary it will in in inspire a lot around because what is going to do is going to show your enthusiasm and how much you do counts on that thing on this new enterprise be that again a new job or a new project or a promotion etc etc or just a, a proposition where you're trying you know to uh, kind of like make the setup so you can undertake uh, so that your behavior is just going to show how much you do appreciate and count on that thing which will only going to confirm to your supervisor or boss or a new employer that's uh, they made the right choice. And following that particular path of yours, not giving up on this new beginning, if you will, uh, as with your relationship life, is going to give you the opportunity to make once in a lifetime change in your life itself. Okay, Those which are single, needless to say, that they are going to find an amazing job throughout the week. Hopefully, you do have what it takes to take it, okay? Because once again, it will require a bit of a, a tackling with creative chaos and upheaval on your behalf, and hopefully, you can uh, withstand the pressure of that, uh, of that environment, and you will be the man up for the job. So with that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Um, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.